Hey, Chris Lipe here with how to use compression in subtle ways for better tone and more power or the perception of more power. And you'll have the wonderful side effect of not burning out your voice as quickly. And we're going to take some cues from STP's Scott Weiland. Where you going for tomorrow? Where you going with the mask I found? And I feel, and I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. like my approach to working with the voice and discovering what it can do and experimenting, you'll love my free voice course linked in the information below. You can't really do what I'm talking about in this video without understanding the foundations of good support, where your power is supposed to come from. So make sure you take that course, dial those things in, and then the things that we're going to be working on in this video are going to make a lot more sense. Oftentimes when I'm talking about compression, I'm helping you discover how to use distortion or grit. That's not what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to be pursuing compression as a way to unlock sheen and sparkle in your voice and create more, more presence. You don't need to be singing high to do this either. This works really well in your comfortable range. I'm going to sing the following line in two ways. Which one do you like better? Where are you going for tomorrow? Where are you going with the mask I found? Where are you going for tomorrow? Where are you going with the mask I found? The difference is subtle compression. Lifting something heavy, holding back air. We're pushing more from our support system and we're holding back air with the upper area of our throat or the false cord area. Now, especially when we're trying to do this in a subtle way, this can make people cough and choke and, and get this unintentional rasp. So we're going to break this down into three steps so that you are able to add this subtle compression, which creates better tone, better power, more authority with your voice. First, let's take this line and we're just going to say, we're going to whisper, where are you going for tomorrow? Now, instead of regular whisper, we're going to compress our whisper. We're not going to use our vocal cords at all. Where, 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 where are you going for tomorrow? Where are you going with the mask I found? Where, like this. Now we don't, we want to feel out before we get to the point to where it sounds like Marilyn Manson. Where are you going? Where are you going for it? We don't want that. No, the beautiful people. It's not that. It's subtle, not where are you going, where are you going. Here, that's louder. It's, more, it's a more engaged whisper, but we're not using our vocal cords at all. Let's try this to the track. Where are you going for tomorrow? Where are you going with the mask Now, if you feel yourself t uh, coughing or feeling tickles, Tell yourself, place the sensation higher in your throat. This is not, where are you going? It's where are you going? No, yes, no, yes. If you are trying to, if you're doing this sort of old man, kind of sigh, 
you're going to hear those little like high uh, squeaky things. If you place it high in your throat while you're just whispering, you stay out of the way of your primary chords and you're able to get a good, clean, sparkly whisper sound. Not gritty. Not like this. You heard it, right? Those are the differences. Okay? So that's the first. A, a pressure-filled whisper. Here's number two. Say an E vowel. E, 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 E. But place that E as forward as you possibly can. E, 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 E. In order to do this, you'll need to get your face out of the way and bare your teeth a bit more. E, 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 E. E, 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 E. Okay? Now, add the whisper to this posture. E, 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 Okay? Then, take your E, your vocalized E, 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 which is very forward and bright, E, 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 and add the whisper. And you should feel this dichotomy in your throat. E, 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 E. Regular E, E, adding the whisper sensation over it. E, 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 E. Ah, here it's raspier and sparklier. This is huge for tone. E, E. Next. We're going to insert that lifting something heavy sensation. E, e, and you're going to feel this just on the tip of breaking up after you do this for a while. I will say this is not instantaneous. Do not leave a comment that says, I tried it and I can't do it. It takes some time to feel this stuff out. Be patient with yourself. Let me go through the steps again. E, e. E I'm lifting something heavy. I have this posture. Now, with this connection of three different things, you hear just a tiny bit of breakup, but the breakup isn't the goal. That sheeny, wonderful, airy, raspy sound is the goal. And we, pr we play with the support and the push in the context of this posture. So let's try singing the line again now that you know what I'm doing. Where are you going for tomorrow? No. Where? Where you go? Where you going for tomorrow? Ooh. Where you going for tomorrow? Yeah. Now I'm gonna push a little bit more. Where, 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 where? Where, 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 where? And I'm gonna lengthen my mount my throat a little bit, drop my larynx to get a little bit darker tone, even in the midst of having this posture with my face and, and bringing that tone forward. Where are you going for tomorrow? Hey, where are you going with the mask I found? Now I'm gonna go in and out of compression, these three things that I've talked about as I sing over this little section, and you'll be able to hear exactly when I've got that better tone, better power, and better control over my voice. Where are you going for tomorrow? Where are you going when the mask I found? And I feel, and I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. Where's the smell alone? Yeah. Again? Where are you going for tomorrow? Where are you going with the mask I found? And I feel, and I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. Will she smell alone? You can hear, it's not always bad when I back off the compression. 
But being able to think of this compression in three different stages or three different feels and bringing those into your voice in certain sections, bringing it in and out over a passage or a particular phrase will help you with better tonal possibilities and dynamics. And once you dial this in, it'll save your voice. I hope this has been helpful for you. We'll see you for more.